I just tested out how you can make this really cool live gradient map here on Photoshop. So let's check it out. Let's go with black background. This is my artboard size. Let's select the type tool. I went with the Mango Grotesque Extra Bold Italic. Great. Now we're going to go to the adjustments, scroll down, select the gradient map, click on the gradient, and we're going to add the following colors. I'm going to go here and let's add a blue, a really strong blue. Click OK. Let's go on somewhere here and I'm going to go with a purple like this. Click OK. Let's go on. I'm going to go with a red. Click OK. And now here I'm going to add a yellow, something like this. Click OK. And not but least, I'm going to go with a green like this one. Click OK. It probably should look something like this, but you can tweak it later anyways. So I'm going to click OK. Now click on the text, let's go to the filter, go to Blur Gallery and select Iris Blur. And click on Convert a Smart Object. And here we got in the Iris Blur settings. And I'm going to increase the blur with this and check it out. It's going to apply this beautiful heat map effect. By the way, you can customize the Iris Blur. I mean this iris oval and you got these small little circles top bottom and left and right so if you pull it to the left or right you can see it's going to bring in the blurriness or push it out all the way 100 percent and you got here this square if you increase it check this out it's going to make it square but i'm going to make it around it 100 percent and here you can scale up or scale down the circle. And let me see, there's like another thing. Oh, there you go. If you pull it like this, it's going to start distorting it. So I'm going to make it perfectly circle. I mean, as much as possible. And basically, this is how you can customize this iris. And I'm going to decrease it a little bit more and make it oval maybe. And if you go here, you can also rotate it. Let's click OK. And that's how you work with this gradient heat map and iris blur. Thanks for watching.